Columbia, she mentioned um, the Philippines and Thailand. And she said that girls from those countries are uneducated. What's going on, Passport family? Welcome back to another episode of Men on the Move. <laughs> Guys, before we get started, go ahead and like and subscribe. That's really going to help me out and get me to a broader audience. Guys, without further ado, let's get into this video. Round two, Filipina claps back again. It has been two months now since I made my first clapback video. And that was um, regarding a white woman who insulted us just because the passport bros are going to the Philippines, to Thailand, and to other you know foreign countries. She called us weak and vulnerable. And um, after that, we all know that there are a lot of you know Western women who made videos, uh, same videos, and um, insulting women from overseas. Um, one of them was from a podcast, Daily Pub Crew, I forgot, I forgot the name, but this American black woman um, called us, because she was very specific with the countries. She mentioned Dominican Republic, she mentioned Colombia, she mentioned um, the Philippines and Thailand, and she said that girls from those countries are uneducated, uh, can barely speak English, and... Um, Aside from that, we got, you know, insults like we are prostitutes, we are dirty. So right now, let me break it down for those women who just, you know, love running their mouths and not checking the facts. They said that we are uneducated. Passport family, remember when I told you, remember when I told you that American woman was going to come into the point where they're going to feel the wrath of the Filipinas. Now we're at that point. You see, American Woman has been running their mouth for a long time, Passport Family, for a long time, calling, like I've been saying, they've been calling foreign women all types of names, calling them poor, calling them uneducated, saying they can't speak English. And now we're at the point where Filipinas are not taking it anymore. And that's why she's clapping back right now. Let's get into it. Educated. How can we be uneducated when Filipinas' literacy rate is at 99.70%? So almost 100% of Filipinas can read. But American women's literacy rate is only at 87.90%. How can we be uneducated when we already had two women presidents? How can we, how can we be uneducated if there are a lot of nurses there, Filipina nurses there in the U.S., how can we be uneducated if there was a, Fili uh, a Filipina who invented the incubator? How can we be uneducated if we already had a lot of Supreme Court, women Supreme Court justices? How can we be uneducated when 56% of Filipinas graduated from colleges and universities here in the Philippines. You call this poor because we are from a third world country. Um, third world was used before in connection with- She just killed that whole Filipinas are not educated thing just then. She just killed it. I don't believe for a second that American women truly feel that women outside of the country are truly uneducated. They're just using that as a way to influence other American women or people in America in general to paint passport bros in a bad light. Understand? So if they can get people to say, well, they're going overseas and the women are educated, so they just don't have the wherewithal to think for themselves. People will feel sorry for them and you know how the cancel culture is here. That's what they were banking on, but it's not going to work. The military, actually, we are not a third world country. We are a developing country who's an, uh, who is uneducated now. Well, you might be, you know, kind of right on that part because 30% of Filipinos live in the poverty line right now. But the difference is that we do not get the same government welfare that you are getting there in the U.S. We do not get food stamps we here. We do not have Section 8. We do not have soup kitchens. Single moms here are getting something from the government, but not really a lot because we do not have that enough budget to support those you know, single moms. Now, 
what if we're going to strip off all of those welfare that you're getting there in the U.S.? I bet you're going to be poorer than us. If they did that, American women would be in trouble. In trouble, man. Can Passport family, just imagine. Just imagine if the government assistance just magically went away. Just magically went away. You see, then American woman would actually understand what it feels like to have to get it out the mud. You feel me? They have to get it out the mud. They're not depending on uh, uh, the government to dig them out of their bad decisions out of life. And it's not going to fall on us, on our backs, to take the, the, the pay taxes, to put it in to the government system so they can thrive and survive off of our work, off of our hard work. Understand that, Passport Family. If America was to strip the American woman from their government assistance, they would fall. It was also said that we can barely speak English now. We have two official languages here in the Philippines. The first one is Tagalog. That is our main language that we use here. And our second official language is English. When we start going to school from kindergarten up until college, it does not matter what degree we are getting. English is always included in our curriculum. So we know, a lot of us know how to use there, there, and there. And we say ask, not ask. Also, the Philippines is the call center capital of the world. There are more than 1 million call center agents here in the Philippines right now. And for you to be able to apply for a call center position, you need to speak in English. So how can you say that we barely speak? Oh, I never even thought about that. But how many of us, Passport Family, show of hands, how many of us have called in and we needed technical support for something or uh, something along those lines and we had to speak to a Filipina? Sometimes we probably think that they're either Indian, sometimes we think they're uh, uh, Hispanic, but a lot of times they're Filipino. And I never even I never even thought of that. But now that she mentions that it's the largest capital for for call centers, oh man, oh man. So that whole not speaking English thing is already just debunked right there with that statement. Debunked. American women don't know what they're talking about. English. To those girls who said that, let me ask you something. How many languages can you speak? Because aside from Tagalog and English, we have more than 200 dialects that we speak here in my country. Some of us can even speak in Spanish. They only speak English. Poquito Espanol, señorito, señorita. Pendejo. Some can speak in Chinese. We are actually a multilingual country. You call this prostitutes. Well, there are prostitutes everywhere. And if you are accused... Passport family, if I find a Filipina that's willing to speak Spanish with me... Oh, man. Oh, man, Passport family. You're saying that Passport Bros are flying here just to have sex with Filipina prostitutes? I mean, if you're going to think about it, they will be spending money for airfare tickets just to have sex with prostitutes here. So meaning to say that prostitutes, Filipina prostitutes, are more high-end than prostitutes there in the U.S.? And the last time I checked, there are more prostitutes there in the United States of America. Can we mention Atlanta? You are accusing the passport bros of flying over here for sex tourism, but why aren't you all talking about? Let's talk about that. How many women in the U.S. right now, you can just look on Instagram, are getting fluid out all over the world, uh, particularly, particularly one country, uh, Dubai. Going to Dubai, doing, we already know what they're doing over there in Dubai. And they don't catch any slack for it. You know, they're getting their money. They're getting paid. But what exactly are they selling those men over there in Dubai? See, they don't want to talk about that. But they're quick to attack the passport bros. 
Let's think about OnlyFans. OnlyFans is probably the number one hub uh, for uh, for that type of activity in the United States. They know about it, but it's going. It's just being swept under the rug. You see, Passport Family, the American woman don't want to talk about these. They don't want to talk about those type of things. But they will quickly, they will quickly point point the finger at Passport Bros instead of putting a mirror back up to their face. Those lovely ladies who are going to Jamaica to have sex with boys like teenagers. Not in, sir. Not in. Get a plastic bag, sir. Ugh. You call this dirty when we take about two to three times a day, minimum. You call this dirty when we wash our hair every day. And we all know that the hair is the dirtiest part of the body. And I know that a lot of Western women, they do not wash their hair every day. So who's dirty now? Now, Passport Family, I don't have an issue. I really don't have a huge issue with weave. I really don't. I have an issue with other things like bonnets. But I don't really have a huge issue with weave. But let's just be honest. That's not something that they can wash every day. It's not. No. Definitely not us. Definitely not us. Remember the other video that I did? The meow meow video? It was so funny. Uncle D, uh, Dennis Perling, shared it in his um, video shorts. You, you, you might want to check it out. And I was just laughing at the comments, seeing those comments, because a lot of girls are triggered. We're triggered on that video. Check. The ladies, the girls who were most triggered. Remember, I never mentioned a race there. So to those girls in, 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 in the comments, are you really all guilty that your meow meow smells funky? Girls, this is how you do it. You wash it with soap and water, soap and water, and then you wipe it. That's how you do it, sis. Do not put a lot of eggplants inside your that's the biggest problem here. That's the biggest problem. Is they're sleeping with so many guys. So many guys just throwing their pH balance off. That's the issue. Because that's real, that's going to be really effed up. The smell. You call this dirty and prostitute. When here in the Philippines, if you lose your virginity at the age of 18, you will be bashed people will discriminate you here because we are a Catholic country. It is not normal for us to lose our virginity in high school. So that, that is why we do not have high body counts compared to those lovely ladies. The insults that you threw at us, it was just way beyond crazy. And now you all are you are, you are saying that no we, we we are just warning you we are just you know warning these women from overseas from the passport bros like you can say hey sisters um, let me warn you about the passport bros they're just gonna do you know f the sh with you they're just gonna you know um, do something bad to you but why insult us in the first place and admit it or not. You are not expecting that we're going to clap back. No, they was not expecting you to defend yourself. And you see, Passport Family, I say it all the time. I say it all the time on this channel. On my podcast, I tolerate zero disrespect towards foreign women. Passport Family, show the Filipinos. Show the Filipinos that we are men that are willing to fight for them and not allow their name to be slandered and muddy throughout the internet. You see, Passport Family, enough is enough. Enough is enough. There's no more, no more tolerating the twisted behavior of the American woman. With our blue book in hand, we travel for our peace of mind and our happiness. This is how we're going to put ourselves first. Learn a new language, get your passport, and experience a new culture. Lame. If it's something that you love and you feel passionate about, chase that by any means necessary. I was told I was lame to be a barber. I'd be stuck in my hometown, but God gave me the vision to see that I could be where I am.